Hello everyone. Well, we're going to get a cold front to work over us around lunchtime today, and it's going to lead to some really cold conditions for tonight. So let's track temperatures hour by hour, and we are just going to track temperatures because no rain or snow with this cold front. It's going to come through dry. I think the only thing it's going to do is increase the cloud cover a little bit as it's working over us partly cloudy skies, but I actually think most of the day is going to be mostly sunny. So at 8 a.m., Temperatures ranging from the mid-teens to the low 20s, and the low 20s probably just near the lake. I think most of us are mid to upper teens at 8 a.m., but very reasonable for this time you're not much wind. I think the front is going to start to push in around Viroqua about 11 a.m. this morning. I think it's going to be right over Madison about noon, and once the cold front arrives, the winds are going to be picking up. It is going to get breezy, gust 20. 25 miles per hour and then it's going to be staying breezy for the rest of the day and looks like a good chunk of the night as well. I think the front will be arriving in Kenosha about one o'clock. So after one o'clock the front clear of us and again just a little bit of an increase in cloud cover it's working over us and now by one o'clock breezy across all of southern Wisconsin. Now temperatures not tumbling behind this cold front but once the front arrives that's going to be it for the warming trend and then temperatures are going to be gradually coming down so we're going to jump ahead from one o'clock this afternoon to five o'clock this afternoon as you're getting out from work and headed home and these are the temperatures we're going to be seeing it's still around 20 in Racine Kenosha but now mid upper teens which is where we're starting the day in most locations around 8 a.m. We're kind of back to our 8 a.m. temperatures, but the difference is going to be the breeze. So not much wind this morning, but five o'clock this afternoon, definitely breezy. Gusts around 25 miles per hour. So we've got to talk about what it's actually going to be feeling like at five o'clock this afternoon, and it's not going to be feeling that warm. In fact, look how we're already seeing wind chills below zero. Baraboo, Portage. Beaver Dam, right around zero in Madison, and at the best, wind chill six, seven degrees, Racine right, and Kenosha. But this is just five o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> it's going to get worse from there. So let's talk about low temperatures tonight. We've got all the ingredients for a really cold night. New, fresh, cold air mass and clear skies most of the night. So look at these low temperatures. We're talking about minus five minus 10 being common and some getting close to minus 15. During the evening hours, definitely still breezy, gust 20, 25 miles per hour. Now late tonight, early Friday morning, when we're hitting these low temperatures, we'll call it a light breeze, gust 10 to 15 miles per hour, but that is still enough for a wind chill factor. So look what it's going to be feeling like late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We're talking about wind chills minus 20 to minus 25 in most locations. And when you have wind chills minus 20, minus 25, we're talking about frostbite occurring in just 25 to 30 minutes. So I know we're used to the cold in southern Wisconsin, but this is one of those extra cold nights. So the big takeaway for tonight through early tomorrow morning, if you don't have to be outside, don't stay inside but if you do have to venture out try and stay outside for a short amount of time as possible and definitely put on the hat put on the gloves put on the extra layers and this is also a good night to let the outdoor pets come inside because this is potentially dangerous cold for them as well all right so this is late tonight early friday morning let's talk about friday afternoon and these are definitely cold temperatures. We should be seeing high temperatures, upper 20s, low 30s for this time of year. So we're talking about highs tomorrow, about 25 degrees below normal. Not record breaking, but way colder than we'd like it to be. Uh, at least it'll be a pretty day. We're talking about mostly sunny skies. And the good news for the afternoon tomorrow when we're hitting these high temperatures, which yes, single digits, across the board. The good news is there's not going to be much wind in the afternoon. Yes, still that light breeze in the morning, but in the afternoon winds just five to 10 miles per hour. So no wind chill factor to worry about. 